He's got a shotgun around the corner, the close range. It barely loses. Guess what? Oh. KZ gets kill number two for him, but there's Doki to take the head off of Herds. He spent two and a half minutes in this position, and now Julio will request the rest of W7M. They have to come to the rescue. Doki. How does Doki pull this off? Exchanging bits of HP time and time again. He secures for the fourth kill for Doki. It's just Julio yet to find the scoreboard. All of G2 collapsing on him. Phenomenal four K. Okay, quite a challenge here though. On towards Kochek, sees one cross, but a little bit late to the punch. Yeah, has to drop down. He's got the rotate out if he wants to do it, but the first trade is over the back end. P4 can't get the cement. It's Doki with a double and Bibu. He's able to get one on the back end, but he's still in the bar. And there he is. Pops up, pops the okay. down. Blur gets the end of it. Doki said he wants to destroy him, and that round is the first bit we've seen from the sky. Got some work to be done if they want to go up by four. Nitro Cell shot away as Maya defends this black mirror looking towards Snowmobile. Smoke will clear. Maya stops it in its tracks. But it's Maya in a 1v2. Gets time for the reload with the vector. That's huge. But needs to square up his body. No. Only a single one left. Maya with one of the best clutches of the time. Shuttle, that's it. Two and seven. This is more like shuttle on border. But, ooh. Down goes Geo. He's one of the best players, oh, and another, if they're going to keep on a 1v1, injured. he can easily win this. Citizen's been down by the EDD. Rexon will have to clutch. Can he get there in time? Does he have information? Nade goes off. Shuttle doesn't seem to know where he is, and Citizen will get back up. Shuttle the Nitro Cell, finishing off what he started. Citizen with Diffuser in hand. Shuttle will need to end this. Citizen oh. has to take the engagement because he's almost no. out of time, and Shuttle plays it perfectly. They seem to be setting them up time after time. Again, it's a slow process, but when it closes, it closes fast. Buride already the last player standing here for BDS. Overtime seems all but likely now as he tries to fend it off. Maybe not just yet. Foxe needs to plant now. How's he going to play this? Aggressive or for the plant? The shotgun pump comes in, but he's wasted too much time. And BDS sneaking the up. In the back pocket of Leon and crying. But here we go. Cancel on the flank watch. Brings down one. It's all down to Rampy against three. This is better from Kai. And if you... Oh, <laughs> Rampy! What a shot. Sit down, Deepak. Taken down out of the window. But Rampy unlikely to get much more than a bit of a flare kill there as he's down to 10, 15 HP. And surely a matter of time, 14 oh, seconds left to go. No. But they don't have the diffuser, Des. He might do this. This was 1v3, let's not forget. They don't have the diffuser. Out goes an air from Spite. He's not going to no find way. it. And surely no. not ramp it. What a performance no. in the round. Finally breaching the building. Volps will creep up. G2 distracted elsewhere. Do they know the lion is here? They oh. do. Benja wins that duel. He saw it coming. W7M and a 3v5. I mean, Benja's winning every duel. It looked like he had no business winning that one, but he did anyway. Julio got a drop of just there to wait for him. Look at this, he's got another one up as well. Murmurs from the crowds. Oh, Julio, no, no, no! Benja reassumes the position. He's on a collision course with KZ. These two players, phenomenal for their team so far, seemingly unstoppable. The drop from KZ leaves JV92 upstairs. What? Benja collects another one. Oh. oh, Virtue, you missed your chance. Can you win it? No, you can't. KZ's on another one altogether. Doki and Benja, last two, but guess what KZ doesn't have? Well, I was going to say the diffuser, yes, but the correct answer is his life. He finds himself inside a site, but there's not really too much he can do at the moment. Oh, so the no, should be all before. Before. <laughs> Misses his opportunity, but he's going to relocate and just shows the power of the gadget. Hello. <laughs> You go, not a problem. Oh my oh, god, so that's horrible. That's horrible. That's the power of Solace. That's especially horrible though, because it felt for a second like Walls have really lost that one, and Die Walls have battled their way the single wall as well behind the server stack that gives them this angle straight through here towards the back of sight. Now out come the smokes. What can they do? As already, the Yana is starting to march away forward. Nuez has found two, makes it three. He's decimated.
teammate from the top of the ramp, and it looks like Oxygen, especially Nuis, have done enough here to get it over the finish line. A 4v2. Dream padding out those plants. That's even further, and Spiff and Iconic can only look on as this is going to get stuck down. Nuis makes it a 4, makes it a 5. An ace to win out the map for We're OHG. We're seeing the health advantage on the side of Oxygen, but the numbers are with Astralis. What an opportunity for Vertical. Does he know that there's another? If he just keeps gunning, he might just get him. Yes, goes right with the piss. They're going to have to rush. This is it. Again, that low health just not helping out at all here. As they find one more, it's Vert and Fox. Say Vert gets the ace as well. What a round coming through. Assisted, of course, massively. They have loads of time. They do. They did well. They found Movi early, right? And Rise has then gone a bit over aggressive by himself, trying to be a bit of a backstab. Bibu finds one back, but again, you know, there's two players on site with Bibu currently off the one looking to contest and be the, oh, hey, you need to drone me, you've got to come clear Dragon. And that's the thing here. This is the problem with G2. They're forcing motions, they're forcing abilities, they're trying to drive Ace themselves the through. Bibu has forced further and further back. Shinka, he's moved into the dead space where P4 was. He starts trying to hit the hammer home, but a very quick trade. Back on from Benja, Bibu. Oh, sure. The last not. French Jack statement of two versus one. They have one more! Not. A one versus one, and it is a BB round! Fabian is gonna be furious! They're anticipating the play up. Down goes Nets, go to P4, resets with one. He'll immediately head off a beautiful shot on a Mowgli on Skylight, and another onto the window! This is quite the heady task in front of them. Resets reads into this. He knows it's coming. Good patience rewarded. What a round from Resets so far. I don't know. Had an idea. Shaiko has one of his own. Swings on the top of stock and takes care of Spiff. That's when it starts getting dangerous because now it's a 5v4 BDS with a man advantage. Seems like there's some pressure coming down from stock, also from the top of square, but they'll just lean back in and impact used to get rid of the Xkaros. That's the second kill to come through. Shaiko takes one more, and that means it's a two on five situation now. BDS on series point with two more to find. There is the fourth for Shaiko. Only one left and a Shaiko ace on the end of the floor. That's round. To luck it's on the hunt and they do not want to lose that heartbeat scanner so oh. early in the round it's gone and a nitro nice, with nice. it okay he is there for the trade leaving us in a four oh. before he gets himself oh. a second and okay is going big on villa is it going to be a third can he cook up a surprise no he's going to move himself away and live to fight another day this is what I mean, though. It's the small isolated 1v1. First and foremost, great trade play coming out from Doki to trade out Alamau. Now the problem is Koi keep on taking separate 1v1s, and that's two rounds in a row The Doki's found himself three. This is looking unbelievable so far. Absolutely decimating Koi. But again, Tim, it feels self-inflicted. They keep on taking 1v1 after 1v1, and that is where Doki is in his elements. Can't even find the last, and it turns into an ace for Gunner in this execute. Nath taking some damage, but Eminem are cleaning house. Sonics have lost three players. Rexon will need to clutch. Diffuser in the hands of Yuzis. If Rexon can stop it, he'll send his team to overtime. Oh. And suddenly Rexon kills them all. He just needs to get to Yuzis. And he does it! Good god damn! What a play by Richie! He thought the match was over. It works on the Benja Master, and it works on the Doki as well. This is the confidence that they need. They need to find their footing. Bring that same level of aggression that G2 has been bringing. You bring it right to their doorstep. He drops. Herds is just... What is going on right now from Herds? Unheard of. Four kills, three kills, all five kills. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Good Lord. Blur. Falling back, fortifying his window. Of course, still has the mirror windows to play with. Oh, oh, oh. So he just finds one below. Does he know about the player in pantry? Oh. Seems to be the case of Nuis Drop. Alamau as well. He was surrounded and he oh. makes his way out. And are they going to be able to go for a pickup? Well, they've rotated. They've got themselves much closer. As I said, it's got to be direct. Alamau. But there's direct. Alamau on a quad. Hard hold on the corner right there. Oh, man. Does not suspect the big swing from Astro. And he'll be able to get two. A down against him. Kino responds with two of his own. It's a battle of superstars here. Players just going off back and forth against each other. Slevin, a great opportunity, but he can't follow through with the spray. Kino survives. Activating presence reduction. Grubby starts the descent here. Just going to go slightly unnoticed. So wraps around the corner. Keep in mind, 
Some more obscured footsteps nicely found as well. Dios not ready for it on the cross. Kano finds the response though. Yet again, one player goes down. Another star seems to rise. Slevin, he'll go for the plant. Here's Kano's second opportunity for the clutch. He's gonna miss Slevin initially. Here's another transition oh! and gets the instant headshot. It's another 1v1 coverage. Here comes the Monty marching on his way forwards and has gone down to NJR. How on earth does that work out? Got him on the side of it as well. NJR into a second one and now he's got it to do against three players. Unlikely at this point, despite how good the NJR has been playing so far tonight. He knows that there's one on the left of him. This is going to be a freebie, surely. He knows the peak is coming. He's ready for it. There you go. Sprays him down, leaves him in a 1v2. But if Team Secret give him an opportunity here, there you no go. Way. Beautiful from NJR. No way. And he gets the last fantastic 1v3 to finish off it is.